Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. And this is the Let's Learn series, and I'll show you what I've done. So I went ahead and I started to dismantle kind of this area here. Where are we? Uh, this area here where I had all that stuff in here. <laughs> this is all now gone. I tore it all up. I replaced this area with uh, fluid storage. So there's crude oil here that's being accumulated at the moment. This is all spreads out evenly, basically. And this is all being pumped in by these these guys here. All right, and where is it down here as well? Got all these guys here pumping oil in there. And then what I've done is I've I've changed everything. So I brought in the iron here and then this iron is going up to a set of forges here which then you push out and then up here I'm gonna have them combine and then we'll move those resources wherever we want same thing here with the copper I've also added here where I can probably add one or two more furnaces of each so have a set of you ten all together and then for the copper I've kind of tied in the copper on the most part up here I have that's all still the same. There's still more oil here. I tied in the stone here into the system as well. That all goes all the way back into the stone. And you might as well tap into that. And we still have some up here. 222. So this is almost going to be ripped out. Once this is gone, then eventually this trail will go as well. And we'll repurpose that. Yeah. And then over here, um, I think what's happening over here is I can tear out if you notice here I tore out a bunch of this stuff here because there's no longer any any iron to take from there might be a couple deposits up here but I'll have to expand up here potentially at some point and who knows I know there's iron in here there's a bunch of copper everywhere there's iron over here there's a big iron deposit here which I could probably tap into without too much worry but yeah it's gonna be exciting to have to tap into those uh, let's see here and I'll show you the research which is way up here I put the research on the peninsula up here where yeah right up here I tried to cut kind of like a strip through here this is where the research is gonna go there's two different belts one's for the red and green and the others for the blue and purple and I have ten of these so that way we can research like crazy and so today my goal is to do research for uh, for this to get this research going so that means materials and whatnot and I think we're going to do this by bringing the packs up top I think I've been thinking about this and I don't think it matters if we have a long trail of extra packs like these things like say there was packs 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 built along here I don't think it really matters per se so we're gonna give this a little shot here I'm gonna bring down this belt and this way okay uh, let's chop some trees down here okay that's yeah okay definitely gonna have to do some train management here <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure how I want to bring these belts. Okay, so you'll just have to bear with me. Oh, come on, these trees are annoying. Okay, and we'll do the same with this belt. Okay. Let's cool those fishies in there. <laughs> okay. Okay, there we go. So that's going quite nicely. Let's chop down these trees. Uh, yeah, I think this will be all right. You know, sure, there'll be a lot of extra packs, but in the long run, it doesn't really matter. This is Factorio after all. <laughs> uh, let's see here. 
I wonder if I can just chop all these trees down. Who cares? Because what we're going to do then is, is then we're going to bring these resources up, I think. I wonder if I can l line them up in kind of like a small miniature array. I just go in this direction. Maybe we can do that. So, so how are we going to do this? So maybe we'll have this to combine it into one stream. We'll do the same with this as well. Combine it into one stream maybe, or we'll have dual streams. We'll just do single a single lane. Now what I mean by that is I will demonstrate. Let's see how many... We're, we're going to need more transport belts. So let's run down here. I've also, so fluid handling is pretty easy. That's another thing I, I want to show here a little bit. You basically, these are all tapped into, or attached into these underground. There's this one here with the underground the pipe. And so these are all attached, basically. And this goes under here, under here, all the way up into here, which then ties into here. And then it gets attached into this whole array here. And I plan to expand this a little bit more, maybe have a set of uh, six tanks this way and six tanks down this way. And then from there we'll move the fluid down here and we'll use this whole area down here for what to do with all of the oil. So that's what's happening. Once this iron disappears, then we'll be able to do more with it. So as you can tell, this is all stone and it's all tied down into here. Now there's a bunch of stone in here that I have that I'm not sure how, how I'm going to get onto here, but eventually I imagine that that will present itself and then we'll figure it out. But as, this is just as long until we need more of these walls. And at the moment, we don't need any. <laughs> and, I, and then I expanded this. I think I want 10 in each. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I want to probably go down a bit more, but that's okay. And so I'll go over the fluid handling here a little bit. I know I came down here for some resources. Uh, what do we come down here for? Okay, got power poles. That's okay. Oh yeah, belts. That's what I'm looking for, belts. Okay, let's grab those gears. Grab those plates. Okay. Belts, belts, where are you? Here we go, here's some more belts. Let's grab some belts. So we're gonna need a lot of those. So yeah, so I tore up all this stuff and that was pretty fun. That's what I did in the last episode, of course. I've already mentioned that. Okay, so let's ta attach this actually before we run up there. So I'm gonna tie in the, uh, the coal here because I think this is perfect. And this is what I want to do on camera. So basically this, this is our coal a deposit that's been powering everything and I've added more into here so that way we can maintain hot water for all of these tanks and here we go now I'm releasing in the, the coal and so now these will start operating again so as you can tell if you look here 14 16 thousand 12 7.2 so we're not going to run out of this stuff anytime too soon and so this is going to go up this way, and then it's going to split again. And basically it's going to feed both sides of the furnaces. And so then we need to build basically this part here. Now, I'm not sure how high. Maybe we don't need to get it to go up too high. But this is going to be copper plates, or yeah, um, iron plates. And then maybe I'll just bring the copper right beside it for now maybe and then we'll figure out what to do with all that here in a bit so let's go up up uh, right here so we're going to turn it to the left and then we're going to go underneath just like so, and then we carry it on. And let's just tie it in, who cares? Let's see what happens, see how it looks. Now everything's gonna operate, and it looks like everything is getting 
fuel just like we planned. I basically you alternated the inserters here, so there's long-handed one to reach into this track, and then the short-handed here to reach in here for the fuel. And then for the iron, the same kind of idea for both sides, so that way then you know, everything can operate and function. Let's take a look at our pollution. Our pollutions are manageable, so it's good. That pollution is turning on because that's all being activated, but no big deal because it'll stop anyways here in a second. So yeah, so that is going to work out quite nicely, I think. This, uh, I don't think we need to really balance anything out because of, of this thing, and this is all full. If we really need to balance out stuff, we can. I need to add in more, basically, extractors down here to maximize extraction of all this stuff just to be efficient and oh crap because technically I should put this one then like that because then there's resources there and then that way we can continue with these guys and even we'll even do that doesn't matter and then do the same this way. Okay. This way. And basically just tying all of these together. Uh, looks like I need more mining drills. No, oh, no. Oh, we got one. Like that. How many more can we make? Let's see, where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Because I probably have all the components in here that we need for them, basically. Which is, yeah, iron gears, electronic circuits, and iron plates. <laughs> That's from before when we collected it. So let's carry on. Let's, let's finish this off. So basically, I just make a pattern. To fill in everything. So how are we gonna do this? Maybe just like this. Like that. And just even like that, doesn't matter. Now how do we want to tie it in? On the left or the right of this? Maybe on the right. Maybe that would work out better. So let's put these belts in. I wasn't gonna spend my time doing the copper here, but it needs to get done. We need to basically put this in. And maybe we'll bend it upwards. And then turn it in this way. Take that out. Put that there. Perfect. Okay. So it's tied in there. Now we need to. Uh, this range thing, maybe I need to zoom in a bit more. Okay, so now we need to put in these guys, so that way it runs evenly. I always like it to run evenly for some reason, I'm not sure why, but I just am funny that way. And let's do it like this. Okay, and then we'll just do up and up. And then we'll just tie it in right here. This is good spot in a zenny. And there we go. Ties in there. And then we'll just do a couple more here. I wonder if we can... Ah, it doesn't matter. What we'll do is, since it'll be on the one side here, we can load balance it here. And so basically what this will do is cause it to go in on the ones on both sides. And then we need to go up. Like that. And then it should be able to tie into the belts. The mesmerizing look of the belts should go be able to go like that. And then we should be able to bring power now to all this stuff from up here. 
So what's the best way? Probably in between here in the middle. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Bang. Bang, and even like this. Wow, look at that. We did it. Now I can install some lights. One, two, maybe one over here somewhere. Oh, there's one over there. Right, right here. That way there's the lights. Perfect. Now it's all filling up. As you can see, it's being processed, harvested, all of the above. So a lot of these will have to be reevaluated because we'll have to tear them out, most likely. But as far as completion of the resource, this entire resource is now tapped, I think, fully, which is amazing. Tapped into our main system, which then will smelt it. Okay, all of that is tapped. Oh, that's cool. I love doing all that. Okay. So for... Now, I know there's some stuff with this. Oh, yeah, we need to get the research going, don't we? Oh, yeah, look at the red wires. Now, there's something with these and the smart chests and smart inserters, but we'll worry about that in a bit. So they need sulfuric acid. How do we make sulfuric acid? Uh, do I need kind of like a production facility? Basic oil processing? All the fuel. So, is there like a facility? Oh, here we go. Oil refinery. Chemical plant. Oh, okay, okay. So, we'll have to mess with this stuff the oil refinery and the chemical plant. And, and in the meantime, let's get our research going here. Okay, so where do I want to make this research? So, let's bring the belts down. Since that's priority. Let's do this belt first. Okay. 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 So I think we'll bring this one down about here. Chop out some trees. So you need to produce green science packs which no red science packs which needs copper plates and iron gears right so the copper plates are easy and the iron gears so what we'll have to do is we're gonna but if you split the copper plate it'll take 50 percent but that's okay because research usually never pr is produced that quickly so let's pop this here I'm gonna make some more of these splitters nine ten and they take belts wow and I think I'm running out of belts again or do I I don't see them huh do I have belts on here yeah okay well guess I need to make more belts or grab more belts so let's go grab some more belts from our storage way down here here we go I was gonna say where's my storage grab a couple hundred of those grab those okay this is stone of course here's some more belts let's grab the rest of these so I have a feeling we're gonna use them up Got more pipage here. Let's grab the pipes. These are this is gates. We don't need gates. So yeah, I got two steel furnaces on me that we can actually place to to increase production when we need it. But anyways, and uh, let's see. I'm not sure how far down this needs to go. This might be too low. But I'm just going to finish 
laying this line so that way we can understand kind of how these belts oh shoot these, these dang trees there we go there we go okay so both of them will go that way we need to put in power so how are we going to wire these up Okay, wait, these are already wired in, so good. So let's bring the wires down along the belt. Okay. Oh, wrong place. Went right by the belt. Okay, and... Okay. Right there and keep bringing it down. Come on. Right into here. Okay, so let's just tap it in. So that way there's power at least. There we go. Everything should be tapped in. Now we should be able to put some lighting out here. Let's make some more lights. Oh, and ten. Let's make ten of those guys. Let's put another light up here somewhere. Where, where are they? Here they go. Okay. And then I think we can do one more. About maybe, maybe here. And there we go. So we got lights. Perfect. So now, now we, we need to bring this upwards. Not sure how much, maybe just like that. Okay, so I need to think about this hard. <clears throat> I need iron. So <clears throat> let's do this. Two, three. Okay, and let's put it underground. Perfect. Let's pick that stuff up. And then now we can put another splitter down here. Okay, and then we should be able to bring this upwards as well okay so now we got stuff to work with here so to make these i need iron gears and copper plates so i need a facility to make iron gears let's just bring it right up off here since that's the first thing that we need to make this stuff with and we can do that and then we just put the iron gear recipe in here where are you? Here we go. Iron gear. Perfect. And where's that going to get dropped off? Well, actually, yes, iron gear, copper plates. So, maybe we'll work with this up here where it is. So, I'm going to put this facility right here. Okay, and then this, what this is going to do, this is going to put <coughs> the green packs on the outside of the belt. Okay. Oh, sorry, red packs. So copper and iron gears. Okay. Maybe we'll just bring this up. Upper and iron gear, but let's have a couple going just like this. Okay, and then we can bring this up. Okay, the red packs on this one as well. Might have this in the wrong place. Well, that's okay, we'll just scooch it over.
Um, shoot. Well, that's okay. We'll we'll put, we'll we'll do this. Do that one, and then do that one. Okay. And then the iron gears, right? Well, if we do this and this. Then we can bring in the iron gears. And so if you put this right here, and we do iron gear recipe. Okay. It's gonna need the plates. And so we'll bring the plates up. Where's my track? We'll bring the plates up higher here. I think like that, because we can do this think okay and then we'll put this one this long one like this and what that should do is put them on this which is the outside lane yeah that's okay we'll only need one lane of the gears we don't need too many gears because that would be excessive um, we want to try and keep this minimalistic so let's go up like this and then this should be able to work now so let's power this stuff here so we have to put a couple of these in one there one there and one here and let's put in a light here Okay, now this should be making red packs. Let's watch this for a second just to make sure. It is taking the materials. Oh, look, look, there's a red pack. There's a red pack, yay. So now with the red packs being made, let's see what we need for the green packs. We need transporter belts and inserters. So transporter belts are made using iron plates and iron gears transporter belts <clears throat> I'm just watching here to see what's going on this will fill up eventually anyways so transporter belts we want to put the green on here so maybe we'll get rid of this row a bit so that's so green will be on the far side maybe we'll want two of these. We'll just have two of these. It's good to have two. I don't think it's too much and it should be alright. Okay, do that. We do this. And you know what? It's almost the end of the episode here. So I'm going to probably finish it off here really quickly here. So thank you everybody for watching. Um, I'm definitely going to continue with recording. So I will basically make another episode right away here because I'm having a good time and we're doing pretty good with this. So thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate you watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye bye.